I'm going to be actually using a six millimeter hook. I'm gonna go up a size. And I'm gonna start off by using the white wool. I can find it. Okay. Now, to start off, do a slip knot and chain four. One, two, three, and four. And join with a slip stitch to the first chain to make a very small ring. And into that ring, after chaining one, do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, just slip stitch to the first single crochet in that round. Okay, so to start the second round, chain one, and into the same stitch, do one single crochet, chain one, and three double crochets. One, all into the same stitch, two, and three, and slip stitch to the first stitch. Uh, into the next stitch, do one single crochet, chain one, and three double crochets, all into the same stitch, two and three, and slip stitch. And you're going to continue this round into the next stitch, the third stitch, one single crochet, chain one, and do three double crochets, one, two, and three, and slip stitch. Into the next stitch, a single crochet, chain one, three double crochets, and slip stitch all into the same stitch. One, two, three, four. So you have two more to do. Single crochet, chain one, and three double crochets. And you're gonna have six petals all together and slip stitch. And last stitch, single crochet, chain one, three double crochets. And slip stitch. Now here, I chain one, cut the wool, pull that through, and pull that really, really tight. And then what you need to do is you need to kind of tidy it up because it's actually easier to tidy it up um, as you go along than it is afterwards. So just uh, weave your wool in and out of your flower like this. Doesn't really matter where, as long as you kind of have it neat. And then just cut that. Now, on to the second colour, which is the grey. For the second colour, you can do them any way you like. So, let me get the start of the grey. Okay. So, turn your flower over onto the wrong side. And in between the little holes, there's a stitch. And you are going to join your wool by putting your hook under the stitch. Oops. And pulling your wool through and chaining one like this. You just cut that a little bit. Okay. Now, chain three actually. So you chained one. So chain three. And you are going to slip stitch under the next. Um, stitch across from the last from the little petals before and chain three and slip stitch into the next one which is there just keep your wool that side of your petals and chain three and slip stitch again and you continue doing that round until you get back to the beginning and you should have six of these chain threes so 
last one is quite tricky slip stitch like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my work this way so you're kind of working behind the white petals okay and into that first chain three space if you can see that I'm going to do one single crochet chain one and three double crochets one two and three so basically exactly the same as the white petals and slip stitch and into the next chain three space one single crochet chain one and three double crochets and slip stitch so as I said like exactly the same as the the white flowers into the next one and so on so it's a uh, one single crochet chain one three double crochets and slip stitch and you're going to do that in the six chain three spaces okay I have the six petals done in this round so what you do then is you just slip stitch to the first petal chain one cut your wool and pull it through like that and that is your uh, second lot of petals done now last lot is I'm going to use the purple wool so if you turn your flower over again and again you have your slip stitches or your middle part should I say they're not slip stitches these parts here in between the petals so just join your purple wool to any of those and this time you're going to chain four one two three and four and slip stitch along to the next um, one next end of petal or I don't know what you'd like to call it and chain four and slip stitch along and you will have four uh, four uh, six lots of four chains in the round okay so I've that done at the back of the grey petals uh, I have six lots of four chains so this time you're going to do the same thing turn your work around that the front of it is facing you and into the four chains do one single crochet chain one and five uh, sorry four doubles this time instead of three one four double crochets two three and four slip stitch and move along to the next uh, chain four space and do one single chain one four double crochets one two three whoops and four and slip stitch and you do this four more times until you've come back round to the first petal so I've come to the very last um, slip stitch of the sixth petal petal and I'm just going to slip stitch into this last one here at the back you can see what I'm doing into the first petal chain one I'm going to cut um, a good length because I'm going to use that to sew the flower onto the hat and pull that tight and I'm just going to cut off this here now what I tend to do with these is they're very curly so I'm just going to steam it and when you steam it I either hold it over the kettle with a hook if I'm feeling particularly lazy like that and um, once it's kind of damp uh, you just press it down with your hand like that and it'll go into a much better shape um, or else you can use the iron but don't iron it just steam it and it will turn out lovely and then all that's left to do is sew it on to the side of your hat and it looks very nice and that's a little pretty girly beanie hat <laughs> thanks for watching and I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribed thank you bye